Okay. The dance off of the century. Oh my gosh. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. This is the dance off of the century. Subscribe. <laughs> nice. So guys, I like I've always said, and I will continue to say it. Tinubu's business is everybody's business. Peter B's business is everybody's business. Whether you are in APC, whether you are in PDP, whatever, as far as we are concerned, now in as much none of them has really won. Anybody in APC, whatever that happens in Labour Party, it's your business. Likewise, PDP as well. Whether you are APC, you are a PDP. Mm -hmm. Whatever that happens to Atiku, it's everybody's business. Believe you me, all those who are not contesting, nobody's going to talk about them. Nobody's going to say anything about them. And like I've always said, like the, the politicians always like to emphasize that where politics is a, is a game of number. Anybody can win, anybody at the end of the day. Do you know that a lot of people say, oh, we're not going to support it, but maybe at the end of the day, something might just come up and say, oh, I just changed my mind. Likewise, it can be to Peter B. Those who say, oh, Peter B is just only on social media, whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, they begin to see reasons why they need to support a Peter B. And same goes to Atiku. So if you don't tackle some things on, on, on time, is it when they have won, when you were concentrating on other candidates and some of the things that they, were, that they are doing before the election, and they will carry it on? When they become the president at the end of the day, is that when you are going to be talking about it? No. So you have to say it now and know at the end of the day who is going to do this. It's not even a matter of, uh, of course, we know that some people are just there to make sure that uh, they use propaganda against other candidates. Now, with this issue of uh, Tinumbu, some people come and say, oh, oh, you cannot uh, judge other people with uh, other people's health and all of that. You can even see a man of 90 year old, stronger than a man of 70 or 50. A man of 50 might be as weak compared to a man of 70 because our body system you know, differs from person to person. It differs. Some people might be going through some health challenges and what have you. But some people, especially the APC supporters, oh, they always look it at uh, from the angle of, oh, they are trying to ridicule Tinubu, oh, they are trying to make mockery of him. No, nobody is making mockery of him and they want to use this propaganda. Oh, uh, you want to, if you want to get hood, this and this and this and that. For somebody to come out and be telling you that uh, you did not go to primary school, you did not go to secondary school, that uh, the certificates that were submitted to for him were submitted on his behalf in uh, when he was contesting for governorship. And some people just believe that everybody should just, people are not thinking, I should just go and sleep like that. What, 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 who, who does that? Okay, if you did not go, what happened? Did you not attend or you just were doing some kind of a courses at uh, you know at home and just okay, because of uh, some challenges and you could not even meet up you can't say you did not go to primary school you know ah yeah you expect people to just like okay yes we've had no no it does not work that way so that's why a lot of people are even doubting his age recently his in-law came out and told us that he's 86 years old but though the man came out and said he, he, he admitted saying that but he did not report to the Journalists, he did not allow, he did not tell anybody to take the information to the public domain. But he never said he didn't say it. But it, what he said was that he never gave that uh, information to the journalists. That it was a private conversation, which he never denied that. So that being said, and that is the reason why when I say all these political, all these uh, candidates who are vying for this, uh, uh, the position of the president in 2023, that they are all our business. All of them are our business. Because if you see something that is not right, you say, no, this is this thing is not right. You don't need to do that. And that is why a lot of people are concerned about uh, Tinubu's health. 
because you can say oh shomole uh, is strong mm -mm. Is, that is not even the issue because you don't have what it takes that's why a lot of people are complaining that we have gone through this whole thing with buhari buhari does not even know what is happening buhari in 2018 or so he said he wished he was younger that he would have performed better what does that tell you what does that tell you and not to talk of we are seeing this whole thing see the way he, 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 he was coughing and you know was shaking you could see even a a, a a blind could feel it a child could notice that something is really wrong with this man then why is he being put into this stress and a lot of people who are singing on this Monday, they stand. All of them now, now lie. Now lie, then they lie. They know they don't like the man. Now wait till they won't collect. Now they just they do. But that is their own cup of tea. They can support or whatever and lie to themselves. Because some people tell you, oh, do you think this kind of person will be able to listen to anybody? And when they say that he cannot even listen to anybody, they say, okay, carry on. Maybe you have a what it takes. But Nigerians are saying, no, that this man cannot. We can't go through this same uh, route. We went through the same route with Yaradwa, the same thing with Buhari. Buhari does not even know what is happening. Even this man has not even become president too. Because they will tell you, oh, he has not had any position or political, whatever. And he's forgetting a lot of things. So what of if the pressure now come, if the pressure comes on him by the time he becomes president? So what happens? We are seeing it. You cannot open your eye like this eh, and enter what is no 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 right that is the reason why people are, are comparing and complaining and all of that so forget all those uh all those trash that you always say ah, hey, you don't want to get old and hey, we you think you could be up to 70 years the people who have visited they are this they are, they are home like now some people are even comparing it that uh, obasanjo is it is something that is stronger than him that is 70 and because of the lies to me there are a lot of baggages that this man is carrying where do you start from a lot of baggages and that is why people are like first thing first. All those all those baggages will be talked about. But what we can see, they will tell you, oh, who told you that uh, he was corrupt? If he was corrupt, why didn't they take him to court? Why did, for is it now today? Have you forgotten what happened in the case of Ibori when he was discharged and acquitted in Nigeria with all the allegations and what have you? But as soon as he got to the UK, one small thing like this, now they take cash and he begin to confess like wish, just like Hushumole used to talk. Say, ah, they call they confess like wish. So we know that a uh, body system differs from person to person, so you can't even use that to judge. But when you now know that this is, is not right, that you don't you are not fit physically, you are not fit. They will tell you, Did you see his doctor? You must you see his doctor. If somebody is not feeling fine, won't you know? Have we not gone through a lot of a lot of uh, uh, things for us to have known that say, uh, oh, this is not the right thing to do? We cannot go through this route. And you are telling us that the people are making mockery of him. No, I'm not making mockery of him. Because he is not fit. That's why people are talking about it. It's not about all about mockery. So, guys, uh, that's just the way it is. Let's know your thoughts and opinion concerning this. Leave your comment down there below. Thank you.